What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today, I'm going to be talking about the 1991 film, Samurai Cop. So, the basic plot of Samurai Cop is you have this Japanese gang, the Katana Gang, and they're causing all kinds of trouble in the neighborhood. So, the only hope to stop them is the samurai cop who was trained in Japan and speaks fluent Japanese. So, a lot of you all may be familiar with this movie. This is uh, one of those movies that's famous for being so bad that it's good. Um, some other movies that are like this are The Room and Troll 2. The Room, I've never seen, but I have seen the movie about it with uh, James Franco and Dave Franco, the disaster artist. That movie rules, but yeah, I've never seen the actual Room. Uh, Troll 2, I have seen. Uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of it. There's some funny scenes, but I don't know. It's just whatever, in my opinion. But the funny, the funny scenes are the bomb.com. Uh, there's a documentary about Troll 2 called Best Worst Movie. That documentary is awesome. I love it. I wish there was something like that for this movie, but there, but there's not. I looked it up, but there is a lot of interesting behind the scenes stuff. So. Yeah, I guess the production was just just a living hell. There was a, it was super, super, super low budget. Um, they were all, you know, there, there, there was no like budget for costumes or cars. So there were a lot of the actors were wearing their own clothes and driving their own cars, which makes sense because uh, one of the cars, the license plate said Oregon on it, so, you know, they must have just, you know, came to L.A., they drove up from Oregon, they have their, you know, bringing their own car in, uh, on set, whatever. So, yeah, another thing that really shows the movie's budget is, I was reading, they, they didn't even, like, they didn't even shoot with sound, so... If you watch this movie, that's one of the f first things that you'll notice. That you'll notice is that all of the audio, all of the dialogue is just dubbed over. Like it seems like you're watching some foreign movie. It seems like you're watching like a kung fu movie or something like that, where it's just the uh, when they speak, like their mouth does not match the dialogue a lot of the times. Which right off the bat, that's pretty darn funny. And uh, another thing, yeah, they couldn't shoot at night because I think they didn't have lights. I feel like I, I read that. Um, the lighting is weird. Like, it doesn't match up from shot to shot. The, the way it's color graded doesn't match up either. It'll, some of the scenes have, like, a bluish, almost, like, purple tint. And then the next scene will not have that it'll be like more of like a white tint and it's i don't know what cameras they use but it's super 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 grainy and it's really not i mean it is old but it's not really that old like if you compare it to other movies from the time it was released the other movies look a million times better. This movie's super grainy. It looks like it was shot in like the 1920s. Not really, I'm exaggerating, but it's crazy grainy. So you can definitely, the the budget of this movie definitely shows. And going more into how the production was flawed, um, I guess the, the actors were just really not happy and they were, you know, they were messing up. Well, the main actor specifically, I guess, was mad at the production and he was messing up takes on purpose. And he's like, he was, his thought process behind it was, 
you know, he was just fed up. So he was messing up takes, but he didn't think that they would actually use him. But they pretty much use all the takes that he messed up on purpose, which is, I mean, it, it worked out because those are the reason that, that this movie is memorable, which that's a, a kind of cool thing about these type of movies, these so bad they're good type movies is, I mean, they're memorable, they're famous, they have a call following. These movies are, they get a Blu-ray release. Some good movies don't even get a Blu-ray release, you know? So that that's the thing. I mean, they're not, it, it, well, I mean, I kind of thought it was boring. But I mean, a lot of it was entertaining, but that's like the worst thing a movie can be is, is boring. You can, you know, you could be a super well-made entertaining movie and people are gonna remember uh, the movie. It's gonna be memorable. People are gonna enjoy it. But you could, you could also be memorable in this way where it's just so bad, it's so ridiculous, it's so over the top you know and something else like i was talking about earlier with the the troll 2 documentary and all the stuff that i read about this these and then even the disaster artist something that's so interesting about these movies is how they were made like how did this you know slip through the cracks where you know, we're not going to do any more takes or we're just going to leave the audio like this or blah, blah, blah. It, it's just so interesting to learn the story behind these and, you know, how they came to be, how they're, you know, how, like, why did they choose to do this and leave that in and why didn't they do that again and blah, blah, blah. So that's always super interesting to me. Um, just jumping around here, something that was cool was, uh, Robert Zadar is in this movie. He's the only person that I recognized, but, um, I don't know if you all watching know Maniac Cop, but he's famous for being the Maniac Cop trilogy. I, I've only seen the first one and I just saw it recently for the first time, but that movie is a pretty darn fun time. You have uh, Tom Atkins, and then you have Bruce Campbell in there. Great movie, great... I don't know if you... Yeah, they would probably be considered a slasher movie, but yeah, it's like, you know, an 80s movie. Pretty darn good time. You have some good actors in there, so it was cool seeing him. He was one of the main villains, and he actually... Getting into spoiler territory here, he actually fights the samurai cop at the end and here more more spoilers just a heads up but uh yeah they're like fighting at the end with dull swords you see like a close-up well, i don't know why they chose to do a close-up but the the sword is like not even sharpened it has like a bunch of jagged edges so yeah robert zadar's character is fighting the samurai cop and they're doing all this like crazy build up before um but then yeah Robert Zadar's character just commits seppuku he just kills himself uh because you know he's got a, a die an honorable death he's a samurai it makes sense but yeah it was cool cool to see him in this movie he was uh he he, he did a pretty darn good job um yeah, some some funny scenes. There is a couple funny scenes. It, to be honest, in my opinion, there weren't that many. There were quite a few though that were genuinely really funny. I personally think that there were more funny scenes in Troll 2 than in this. But some of the funny scenes in this were there was this random scene with this nurse and she's just pretty much making fun of the samurai cop and saying that he has a small package and uh she says like 
are you circumcised? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, well, the doctor must have cut off a pretty big portion. Um, and then the police captain, every scene that he's in is really funny. He just delivers his lines really hilariously. And there's this one instance where he's just out of the blue starts talking about, yeah, I feel like I, I have a club up my ass and I got to get it out of there. So those two scenes were standouts for me. Um, there, there's a couple, there's a couple other funny ones, but those were the two main ones. Um, but like I said, I think that there are more standout scenes, like so bad they're good, random scenes in Troll 2. But this is the problem that I have with these so bad they're good type movies. The so bad it's good type stuff is such a small portion of it. And in my opinion, the rest of the movie was boring. Like, that's the same problem that I had with Troll 2, where all the stuff that I saw previously on in clips on YouTube... I thought that was funny, but like sitting through the rest of the movie was difficult. And that's the same problem I had with this, where all the stuff, all the clips that I saw on YouTube that I saw in the movie, I'm like, that's hilarious. I mess with it. But then the rest of the movie was just not very entertaining. And I was almost falling asleep. It was just, it was not a good time. It was hard to get through. So I would, I would not recommend watching the entire movie. I would recommend if you're interested in this, just watch a compilation of all the clips on YouTube. Um, I, I don't think it's worth your time to watch the entire thing. It was kind of, I mean, I wouldn't say that this is long, but it was like an hour and 40 minutes, which for this type of movie is kind of long. Um, some, something else that stood out to me and that I appreciated is just the character of the samurai cop he's super charismatic and he's just a complete player um he's just always getting with all kinds of different ladies um he's the, there's this one villain fuji fujiyama and he just r right away steals his girl and spoiler alert i don't know if this is really a spoiler but at the end he's just like walking on the beach in a speedo with her he's like always getting shirtless randomly but yeah he's like a real player real lady killer and i i i appreciate that he was i don't know he, he was a pretty cool character he was just like just some alpha chad type individual he's just like winking at the camera he's just he's got that pizzazz going so i did like his character his partner was also pretty cool and he had some funny moments. He had kind of some badass moments too. Like uh, he takes out Fuji Fujiyama and he's like, I'm wearing a bulletproof vest, you know? So he made a lot of smart decisions. He was charismatic too. He was cool. He had a lot of funny lines as well. So I liked him. But like I said, there's some fun to be had in this movie, but I wouldn't recommend watching the entire thing. Just watch the highlights on YouTube, but that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.